a little in-flight lobster? No. Just, no. This is one of those things that you just don't do on a plane. Fish, take your socks off, all this stuff. Please, have common courtesy for the others around you. Nobody wants to sit there smelling your rancid smelling fish while on a three-hour flight. Please, don't do this. What's going on, Modern Chodes? It's your boy, Long Nail, back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot posts from r slash trashy. Let's get into it. My brother spray painted this on my mom's car. We have no idea what it's supposed to mean, but now our car looks super trashy. Pi equals I over eight. Bing, 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 I'm a genius. Just kidding, I had to go to the comments to figure out what on earth this meant. Obviously I knew pi, but then I was like, pi equals one eighth, what, no? no? But here we are, I over eight. Don't know why he spray painted it on his mom's car, it, it, why this is such a necessary message to share, but regardless, here we are. All for attention. So what you can't really see here is this guy, yep, that one, was holding out a sign in front of these bikers and didn't move when they came through and literally knocked over the leader. And, you know, 15 people behind that that also crashed because the dude in front of them fell. Come on, man. You're not that important. You're there as a fan. Awesome. Root them on. Cheer them on. Hold your sign up. But move out of the way. White influencer identifies as Korean after 18 surgeries. Hey, uh... I don't know how to break this to you, but if you wanted to be Korean, you could just get Korean citizenship. You realize that, right? You didn't have to do the 18 surgeries. I mean, if you wanted to, awesome, but definitely not the easiest way to go about becoming Korean. Dude uses the weed eater on a guy that tried to take stuff out of his truck. And now this man's is left flinching. Oh, stop, stop. I didn't mean it. Ah, you meant it. You just didn't mean to get caught. And then you definitely didn't mean to get hit with the weed eater. I know that didn't feel good. And you know what? This man has every right. He's protecting his property. This dude is not only trespassing, but he's taking stuff from him. Maybe, no, he won't do this to anybody else. Hopefully. He's going down out here. $140 tab and she tried to run off. Not only that, but then she proceeds to smack this op across the face, which she thinks will have no repercussions, but she quickly learns that you can't just go hitting anybody, especially an op. Uh, this all could have been avoided had you only gone out to eat if you could afford to pay for your meal. I know, it's a wild concept, right? You know, actually paying for the stuff that you eat? Crazy. Dutch fans in Budapest yesterday. That row of football fans face first to the wall are peeing on people's homes. All right, so obviously, I'm sure a majority of the dudes out here have peed outside. Fine, whatever. But you don't do it on random people's houses. You go find a tree or you hold it until you can find somewhere that isn't somebody's house. It's really that, that simple. Like, could you imagine you walk outside and you see 15 people just peeing on your house? No, I can't even imagine that. The rage I would be filled with uh, I, I'm getting rageful now, and it's not even my house. Have some common courtesy, guys, please. And, and then, not to mention, this is on concrete. Now it's all just sitting there. It's not going to get absorbed. It's going to smell horrendous. Just use a bathroom, man. Use a bathroom, or at the very least, find a tree. Man finds out his son is his uncle after girlfriend's affair with his granddad. Wait, wait, wait. So, okay, so this dude has a girlfriend. His girlfriend goes and has an affair with this guy's grandpa. She gets pregnant from his grandpa, has the kid, doesn't tell her boyfriend, who is then proceeding to raise what he thinks is his kid, but later finds out by technicality is his uncle. This man is out here raising his uncle. Oh, I feel so bad for this poor guy, man. It's just not only is the girlfriend a scumbag, he finds out he doesn't have a kid, and that his grandpa is also a scumbag. It's just, oh, got to be a rough day, man. You'll get through it, though. 
TikTok creature wants all the attention. So she hops up on the conveyor belt and proceeds to do a pointless dance that nobody cares about and will probably get 200 views on TikTok. Well worth ruining everybody's day in that store. I mean, seriously, you, you couldn't be starved for more attention if you're left doing stuff like this. I get it. You see other people going viral on TikTok. You want a piece of that pie. This is not the way to do it. These people have places to go. This worker doesn't want to deal with you. You're not that important. Just move on with your life. Please, please don't do this. It's not cool. It's not funny. And it doesn't make anyone laugh. Teenagers set off a fireworks display at my local grocery store. Seems the employee doesn't get paid enough to deal with it. Yeah, so that dude just casually staring there at his house or at his uh, store going up in flames. Yeah, that, that's the employee. And I mean, honestly, I can't blame him. I don't know. For 825, I'm just walking out that store and calling the fire department. Not my problem to deal with. As far as the kid goes, dude. Come on, man. You do realize this isn't just some innocent gesture. You didn't just throw like, a, what do they call it? Like a pop rock at the ground and make a an obnoxious noise. No, no, no. You're literally setting a full store on fire that is occupied with people. You do realize the consequences to that, right? Well, if not, you'll find out very, very soon because they have cameras and guess what? You're going to be looking at some serious time for this one. This is not some innocent little joke. Don't let the past make your decisions for today. Wow. You could have at least only had one mistake. Well, what are we going to lie? Two, three? The three mistakes at least uh, that I'm just seeing at a first glance, a first read through. How bad is your grammar? And, and, and not only that, but the person that tattooed you, I, I mean, ne neither of you caught any of these mistakes. They're so blatantly, obviously mistakes. It almost makes me question like, oh, is this tattoo meant to be like some sort of statement and it's intentionally messed up to try to be deep? I mean, honestly, at this point, I'm hoping that's the case and not that this chick posted her tattoo only to find out it actually has three mistakes that she didn't want. But wow, just wow. All right, modern chodes, that's it for the hot posts from r slash trashy. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And of course, share this video with your friends. And if you want to help support the channel for free, anytime you have any shopping to do on Amazon, just click the link in the description down below. Do your shopping is regular. It won't cost you anything extra and It'll help support the channel, so I'd really appreciate it. Till next time, peace.